Hello everyone, my name is Kane, and today I'll be showing you how to create badge inserts using the mail merge function in Microsoft Word. So first thing I'm going to do is open up my Microsoft Word here. Um, and this is best done if you already have an Excel spreadsheet with all of your names laid out in it. Um, I've got mine right here just to show you an example of what it looks like. So I've got the first name column, the last name column, uh, the company column, and then the uh, position. I'll close that out. So from here, we're going to go to the mailings tab and we're going to go start mail merge. Um, inserts, badge inserts are basically just considered labels. So we're going to click on the labels button. And from here, you can select, um, there's a, a wide variety of uh, different styles of labels you can choose from. Um, the one we're going to use today is the Avery 5392, which is the four by three badge, height, four, height three inches, width four inches, and it's going to print out an eight and a half by 11. Um, you can also create your own custom label here um, using your own margins. If you have some sort of uh, custom um, inserts with perforation, but we won't do that today. I go okay. And from here, you're going to go select recipients. So this will allow you to select your Excel spreadsheet. Um, you can also type your own list out here, um, but we won't do that today because that will take a really long time. So we're going to go use an existing list. And I've saved it to my desktop here as mock list of names one. Perfect. Um, from here, we're going to go edit recipients list. And this will allow you to uncheck any, um, any recipients you might not want to be printing out. Or um, for instance, in this case, I have some blank rows that I don't want to print out. So I'm just going to deselect those. Um, next step would be the insert mail merge, insert merge field. So each of these fields uh, represents one column in your Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to sort of lay out our badge here, how we want it to roughly look. First name in here. Down. And I like to use shift enter to, to go down to the next line. Some people will use enter, uh, but if you notice, it makes a much bigger space in between. Um, this allows you to control sort of how, how close each line is to each other. So we're gonna go shift enter and enter the last name. And then we're gonna go down a couple lines here and I'm gonna enter the, uh, let's do the position first and then the company after. And then from here, you can even go over to home and we're gonna center everything in the batch. Come back over to mailings here. Um, so once you have your badge roughly laid out, you can always tailor the very first badge how you like to like it to look and it copies to the rest. Um, so we're going to go update labels and that copies your layout to the rest of the badges. Okay. And then from here, you can go preview results and it'll update all of your names into there. So we're going to edit the first badge here. We're going to bold the name, increase the size to 25. And then we're going to increase this to, let's say, 50. And I want to bold the company name. Let's bring this up a bit. Okay, so once you have your layout selected, uh, layout done, you can go preview results again. And it lays out all the names here for you. Um, you can go back and forth between pages using this function here to, uh, to edit each badge individually if you'd like. Um, and once you're done, you go finish and merge and print documents. And you can print uh, certain pages if you'd like, the current record, meaning the, the page you're on, or you can print all. Um, make sure you have your uh, badge stock in there. So with my badges, it would be the B-1A, which would be the Avery 5392. Yeah, so once you have your inserts inserted into your printer, you go OK, and your badges should print out for you to tear. 
Anyways, thanks for listening. I hope it's been a great help for you guys. And uh, feel free to shoot us an email if you need any assistance with any of this.